Understanding fuel trim can be a vital tool in trying to diagnose drivability problems with cars these days. Fuel trim is really a very simple situation, but it can be pretty complex at the same time. That's probably a good way to explain fuel trim. It's complexingly simple. Let me illustrate. I want to take a very simple little device here that I've made to show you it's like a teeter-totter. You know in a teeter-totter where the pivot point is in the middle and you have weight on each side, as long as there's motion, it should balance. It should go back and forth. But if you have way too much weight on one side, then it weights it down and the other side can't keep up and you're out of balance. The computer's job in fuel trim is to achieve balance. If you'll look at a waveform diagram, you'll see that it is up and down, up and down constantly on a good waveform pattern. If you're too high, like this, that's not the right way, or like this, it's not the right way. The computer is trying to achieve balance. Now there's three elements to this balance equation. You have the oxygen sensor, you have the computer, and you have the fuel injector. Now the fuel injector simply does what it's told. It either squirts fuel or it doesn't, or it squirts a little bit or a little more. The oxygen sensor does not squirt oxygen. The oxygen sensor reads the amount of oxygen that's being brought through the engine. So the oxygen sensor reports data to the computer. Now the computer then gets this data, calculates, and tells the fuel injector what to do. So can the fuel injector report data? No, the fuel injector simply responds to a command to either add fuel or take fuel away. Can the oxygen sensor add or take fuel oxygen away? No. The oxygen sensor can't do anything as far as being commanded. It simply reports data to the computer. The computer calculates and tells the injector what to do. So, in this situation, it's very simple. Very, very simple. Fuel trim is very simple. However, it can be complex when we get a code. What is a code? Well, if the computer is doing everything right, it should be balancing fuel like this. But if we get a code, it's because we're stuck. We're out of balance, one way or the other. We either have too much air, or we could have too little fuel. That's where it gets a little bit complex. A lean code could be truly telling you that you have a lean situation, like an air leak, vacuum leak intake gasket leak. However, that same lean code may actually be telling you that it's not an air problem, it's too little fuel, like a restricted fuel filter, dirty fuel injector. Either way, remember, the computer is trying to balance. So if you have a lean code, there's only one thing the computer can do. It's going to, can it control the oxygen? No, it's going to try and control the fuel and bring it back up. So if you have a lean code, too much air, and if it's due to actually truly too much air or too little fuel, either case, the computer's only response is to add fuel. So in diagnostics, if you have a lean code, you need to try and verify is it truly lean or is it simply low fuel. Now what if we have a rich code? <clears throat> a rich code, again, the true computer's trying to balance. It can't balance anymore and it's stuck in the rich position. It can no longer balance. We have too much fuel. Or do we really have too little air? It could be either or. That's where it's complex. Simple but complex. Do we truly have too much fuel? Do we have a leaking fuel injector, leaking fuel pressure regulator, or do we have a dirty air filter and we're just not getting enough air. Either way, again, the oxygen sensor is reporting that you're rich, you have way too much fuel. The computer's the only job. It can no longer control the oxygen sensor. The only thing it can do is control the injector. So it's going to try and bring this injector down, try and bring fuel down, to balance fuel. It wants it to be balanced. So in this case, you would look at your 
integrator and you would see that the computer is actually pulling fuel away to confirm that there's too much fuel. The complex part is it because there's too much fuel or is it because there was not enough air and the computer is pulling that fuel down because it cannot raise or increase the amount of air. It's trying to balance. If we're stuck this way, this is the controller. This is the reaction side. This is the only thing it can do is do something with this side. So if we're stuck in this position, too lean, too much air, the computer can only do one thing in trying to achieve balance. It can raise fuel to try and reach balance. Now if we're stuck in this position, we have too much fuel. It cannot raise air. So the computer can only do one thing, and that is pull fuel away. The computer's job is very simple. Fuel trim is really very simple, but it can be complex because either side could be the problem. In trying to diagnose this, understand what you're looking at. What a lean code means is could be lean, but it might be not enough fuel. What does a rich code mean? A rich code means there's too much fuel or there's just not enough air. The computer is trying to balance. So use integrator to tell you that the computer is adding fuel or taking away fuel and then look at either side before you draw to a quick diagnosis. Oh, it's lean. Oh, we have to have a vacuum leak. It can be nothing else. Yes, it could be something else. It could be the fact that you just don't have enough fuel. Air is okay. You don't have enough fuel. Or you got a rich coat. The oxygen sensor is reporting it rich. Don't jump to the quick decision that, oh, we've got something that can fuel. You truly could, but don't overlook the fact that there's two sides to a balanced situation. It may be that you just don't have enough air. So, fuel trim is simple, and yet it's complex. It's complex and really simple. The computer's job is balance. <laughs>